Welcome to my humble abode in Brunswick and with my shitty little moustache and my attempted hipster trim apparently. It would seem that I'm trying to fit in with the locals, huh? I'd say this is my like a pretty good state of being. I'm uh, being in and maintaining. This is like, I feel, the only anxiety I feel uh, is just the idea of somebody walking in and hearing me talk to myself. There's only one person who can do that, realistically. So at the moment this is pretty good, which is strange because I've been exhausted today and maybe that's what's elicited this uh, state of just chill. But I like it and I'm tired and I feel pretty good. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I will show you my room. And this is not the reason I wanted you to want to show you the video and my shit. And this is this is my little house. You can't see anything. This is pointless. And I have my own little space with my own little lights. And this is where I live. This is nice because I have my own space. That's what I value. So I wanted to entertain a thought here. I went for a walk just now and I had a thought of a potential future. A quite interesting one, I believe. Um, <laughs> so last summer I went cycling for a while and I'd like to do that again. I'd like to go maybe across Asia on my bike. and. Um, eventually, anyway. I think it'd be pretty cool if I could software develop from my laptop. Just taking contracts and have a pretty good touring bike and have basically everything I own on my bike, uh, save the stuff I have at my house back in England. And just do that indefinitely and I would cycle and cycle. Uh, each day, pretty well, not each day, just days, you know. I'd go to this campsite, stay in this Airbnb, stay at this hostel. I'd arrive and I'd work and I'd explore, etc. And I'd continue. So I'd be able to get to the campsite, whatever, uh, you know, read that evening. The next day I could say, okay, well I'll explore a bit in the morning. I go to a coffee shop. Go back to the campsite with Wi-Fi. And work for the day. And then the next day I would explore, maybe hike. Go out with people, whatever. It depends on where I am in the world. And read and write. And I could change, switch up. I have to take one contract on, earn some money, and then allow myself to spend the next week or so thereafter not not working, working, but just writing. And then I would just keep cycling, you know, maybe just cycle 50 to 80k in one day, and then to the next campsite, or the next place, town, city, with accommodation, and then just rock up there, work for a few days perhaps, software developing, and then chill. And that to me sounds pretty nice, because I thought of doing this <clears throat> with some camper van, some converted vehicle, and that sounds good. It would be pretty nice to do it on a bicycle. Just the laptop in the back, rock up, work, have a padlock for my panniers, so when I'm going into stores I don't have to worry about having my uh, anything stolen, my panniers or whatever inside. Have a tent, you know, two-man tent for myself, my sleeping bag, roll mat, etc. All on the bike, as I did last summer, save the laptop, and just basically do that. So I basically do what I did last summer, 
but I'm working from a laptop. That's just a thought I had. I thought that'd be, I think that'd be quite nice. Um, if you hear that picking sound, it's me picking my nails. It's a terrible, terrible thing to do. Very uh, disregarding of the viewer, impolite, uh, disgusting. Today I went for a walk to the Fitzroy Gardens, which were beautiful. I wrote there, which was very enjoyable. I realised over the last like six to seven weeks since the 10th of April, so since the 10th of March, March, January, February, maybe since the 10th of February, but anyway, I think it was March, so for the last six to ten weeks I've written just over 60,000 words, I think 62,000, and what, I, what I'd like to eventually do is collate all of my, I've talked about this before numerous times, I'd like to collate all that I've written, including my handwritten shit, and transform it into like a memoir, a book, a books, a series of books. I'm reading Carl Van Knausgaard, his first novel, like maybe 25% of the way through. It's quite enjoyable, very Proustian, and I didn't realise how much I, I, could, I could tell. I wish he was influenced by Proust. I mean, the last book I read was Proust. Um, and, yeah, on interviews he talks about Proust, so, yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's quite interesting, but I would never, I don't believe I would ever do a recollection, a memoir of my life. It's more like in the present. That's why it might be interesting, because what I do write is, I'll just diary entries. I looked at a David Sedaris book today, which was just his letters or diary diaries and they were very brief and observant they were just today I did this I had this thought mine are more this that's where I really write is when I'm journaling not so much when I'm conjuring up some novel I don't believe I'm as powerful in that I'm, I'm, I'm as you know uh, skilled talented in that regard in comparison to just writing my thoughts and what I did in the day and what's happening right now. Tomorrow I weigh myself. Um, I believe I'll, it'll be nice to be under uh, around 175. I think I'm 177.4 the last time I weighed myself a week ago. It's about 175. No, just yeah, like 175.8 would be nice. My energy is pretty lacking today. I uh, woke up this morning and I thought it was before my alarm, like just before my alarm. Uh, I needed the toilet, that's why I woke up. I was like, okay, well I'll wait 10 minutes. And eventually I looked at my watch and it was half past midnight, half past 12. Uh, and I struggled to get back to sleep a bit. So yeah, I'm just tired today. And also the run the other day 15k and that's had an impact on my legs my hip was aching today my right foot was aching quite a bit just now just walking um, yeah I'm just going to continue programming and it seems that I'm doing a lot of small things which uh, you know I've not seen the forest for the trees which kind of makes sense because my daily experience is code, 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 frustration, brick wall, and I don't really see how much I'm learning and how much progress I'm making. Um, I must realise that if I were to code sporadically and in little bouts over weeks, then I'd make fuck all progress and I'd just do what I'm doing now, but it'd take m m months to do rather than weeks or a month uh, to get to the point where I am now so progress is definitely happening um, it's just hard to see it when there are no fruits uh, being born um, but that will come as I said in one of my last videos you know you just need a you just keep working keep trying different things and uh, keep a good mindset 
and shit will happen. Unless you die or you get really unlucky. Shit will happen. <laughs>